Hey y'all, Morgan here from Charleston Crafted and today I'm going to show you how to stain wood black. So I have three different black wood stains I'm going to be testing out on seven species of wood so you can see exactly how your project might look in real life. Before we look at that, I'm just going to give you a quick little rundown on how to stain wood using black stain specifically. So this is the black stain that I'm starting with. This is the Minwax uh, True Black. Um, spoiler alert, it's dark black. This is some real black stain. So you definitely want to wear a glove. I have only one glove I pulled over here, so I'm going to try not to get it on the other hand. We'll see how that goes. I also like to apply my stain with a lint-free cloth. This is Bounty brand, they're called Wipers, and I like to use these cut in half when I'm just doing a small project or whole ones um, for a bigger project. You can use a variety of things. You can use paper towel. Sometimes that leaves a little lint behind, especially a dark stain that can show. You can also use a foam paintbrush. I've done really well with that. That just has a tendency to put the stain on really thick, so you just need to be able to wipe it with something like a rag afterwards. So with these dark stains, it's really important that you shake it really well, whether it's new or old, the pigment can really settle in the bottom of the can. So I turn it upside down, make sure it's closed. Turn it upside down and really shake it, like pretend you are the shaker thing at Home Depot. All right, then you just need a flathead screwdriver to open this baby up, put it in between the lip of the can and the top of the lid and just twist. Pop that sucker off. And I already got black stain on this hand. So you can apply a pre-stain or a wood conditioner before staining. If you're using really nice wood and working on a nice project that you want to turn out perfectly, I recommend using a pre-stain or a wood conditioner. Set it twice, but dark stains like this, if they are blotchy, it really, really shows. So those you just put on before the stain. You can follow the directions on the bottle of what you get. You can pick it up right next to the stains and they will give you the directions on how long to wait before staining and when to wipe it off. For the purposes of this, I'm just gonna show you how to do the stain. But do know that the pre-stain is an important step with dark wood, dark wood stain. So you just dip your cloth and you put it on here. And with dark stain, like black, I'm very careful about not putting too much on because look at this that was a tiny little dip and it's going to be basically enough to do my whole little foot of board here so you spread it really evenly and you go in the direction of the grain so parallel to the grain lines and there it is it's on all the way i'm going to go ahead and put this lid on because i'm constantly paranoid i'm going to knock things over and then you want to let this sit for some wood stains you can let them sit as long as five minutes i have found after five minutes it is about as absorbed as it's gonna get. Um, but for these dark stains, since I do want a little grain to go through, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it right away. So you can see here it is unwiped, and then you're just wiping it with a clean section of the cloth, and I apply a good amount of pressure, kind of push, and wipe off any excess on there. So anything that'll come off, and you can just kind of like flip your cloth and find a clean section, wipe it off. This will help you not get drips, It'll help it not get gummy, help it dry really nicely, and it kind of lightens up the stain. So you can see how dark this really is. So there it is. That is your black stained wood. And this is great if you really want something to look almost painted black, like very, very dark, but to have the grain show through so that people can see that you use nice wood and that this isn't some fake wood plasticky piece from Walmart. So there you go. That is how easy it is to apply a black stain to your wood project. Now let's see how my three wood stains turned out on all the different types of wood. The three stains that I tested are Verathane Classic Black, Verathane Black, and Minwax True Black.